Why isn't there anybody who's showing the videos from both sides? Why isn't there anybody who's telling the story from both sides? Why do I have to go to this side to get this half of the story and that side to get the other half of the story? I don't know exactly what's going down, but I'm going to ask you, if you're on the left side or the right side, can you handle the truth? Do you want to know the complete truth? Or is it just better that your side was 100% right all the way down the line? Can you handle the truth? Is it okay to admit that the people on your side made some mistakes? Because it looks like there may have been some mistakes made on both sides. The most blatant mistake for the Israelis is excessive force. Killing these people. It seems crazy. When you're running a peace mission, you should be peaceful. You shouldn't be running at people with sticks. Gandhi proved it. Nelson Mandela proved it. These guys were successful. You lay down your arms. And if you say, well, you got to fight, you got to fight. No, you don't fight soldiers. Not when you're a peace activist. So was it a peace mission or was it a pro-Palestinian militant mission? And I know it wasn't really a militant mission because if it was a militant mission, they would have had guns. They would have shot the guys when they came down. So there's so much and there's two sides and I've had people sending me from both sides information, but nobody has sent me balanced information. Will somebody please send me balanced information? You know, it heightens our credibility when we tell both sides. And I, I'm going to the news media. Different news sources, and they're fully biased, swung over one side or the other. Is it the Israeli version or the Palestinian version you want to hear? Neither of them is 100% true, I'll guarantee you. The truth lies somewhere in the middle. Are you afraid of the truth? Can you face the truth? Are you willing to take a look at the real truth? And consider that the devils may have not done everything wrong. And the good guys may not have done everything right. Are you willing to consider this? Because usually that's the way it is. Bring all the information together. It adds credibility. Someone said to me, this was just a humanitarian mission. Okay, that's not true. If you were delivering humanitarian aid to a group where you knew you were just going to land and deliver aid, like Haiti, that's a humanitarian mission. But when you're going somewhere when you're expecting that you're going to get stopped and there's going to be a showdown, that is more than just a humanitarian issue. I'm not saying it's bad, but you shouldn't just call it a humanitarian journey when in fact it's also a blockade-busting journey. And I have nothing wrong with that. I, mean, I have no problem with that because I don't like the blockade. I think it's wrong, and I think this ship idea is a clever idea. I wish the ship was completely filled with pure pacifists. Pure pacifists. And we could have the videos rolling while we watch them maybe get beaten. Who knows what would happen to them? But when you're a pacifist, it's pretty hard for them to dig up information about an attack or have an injury when you're laying flat and the cameras are rolling. That's how you do it. <laughs>